to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Carmen I make videos about fashion luxury and lifestyle so if you guys are interested in any of that please consider subscribing today's video is my Hawaii designer shopping haul with the unboxing a check-in and a carry-on which I was able to squeeze these items in they're not particularly big items so I think that's how I was able to I do want to tell you guys like the Hawaii discount if you guys didn't know designer houses in Hawaii have competitive pricing I think to compete with Europe that's what one of the sales associates told me and also Hawaii tax is less it's at 4.712 percent so much less than New York and I'm sure other states so just on tax I save about 4.17 percent already if I were to buy the same item in New York and in addition the retail price is also less I will be showing the Hawaii price and then the price on their website so like the regular retail price so let's just jump into it I will start with Louis Vuitton I think I went a little bit ham like I did not go to Hawaii to buy luxury items they just so happened to be there at a discounted price so all these items were already in my head and I have always wanted to get them like eventually like down the road but I never really bothered to look for them in the store so since it was like such a great price for a new item I just thought I would get them especially if I'm going to own them eventually what can you do it was my birthday month so jumping into it I just have a small item from Louis Vuitton I'm sure you guys might know what it is I never really talk about it but it's such a staple and like since the box is so little I'm sure you can guess so of course you get you get the receipt and I'll tell you once I open it so let's just go ahead and open it just gonna pull the ribbon off and I actually was on the fence about it when I first saw it but my friend Tracy has it and she was like doing the essays job like she was literally convincing me to get it so yeah we're matching so it is the Louis Vuitton key pouch in, in the monogram color I'm sure if you guys follow me you, you must think I already have this because like I love Louis Vuitton and stuff but I actually don't have it actually almost every single time I've gone into Louis Vuitton in New York I have asked to see this they never have it I've never really been on the hunt for it so I don't really like stock the website so in Hawaii sales associate actually pulled out like three of them and I was able to compare them and everything so I like this one the most out of three of them and if you didn't know it's a little lock so it's really good for like key fobs and your home keys and everything although this item is in great condition now I definitely know I'm gonna beat it up and everything I think this would be really good for like running errands just like popping out of the house I still have to figure out like what I want to put in here and everything but yeah she's super cute and I really like it actually I've been looking for this for so long I remember it being like $200 and now it's like three something so let me tell you how much it was at, in Hawaii. So in Hawaii, it is $285. Definitely cheaper. That's what I got from Louis Vuitton. Okay, I want to do this one. This one I bought and I also wore on vacation and this was a super impulse buy. So yeah, let's just jump into it. So this is from Prada. You guys can tell by the box it is their eyewear and it comes with like the little card and everything and a little dust bag and yeah when I went in they actually only had the display model to sell to me and I didn't want it because I could visibly see scratches on it so I asked her if she can like source one from another place she said she could so I just paid for it just paid for it first and then I picked it up like the next day she said that she got it from a different boutique yeah so it comes with this really big bulky case so kind of I don't think I'm ever going to use it like look how gigantic it is but it's cute I guess I do think I'm going to use this it's like a soft pouch it doesn't really provide a lot of protection except for from scratches but I like how small it is these are the sunglasses from Prada that I got they're so cute I actually okay this is what they look like on I love them so much I love that the logo is big 
because I'm a logo girl. Like, no shame about it. <laughs> At least for now, that's like what I like and stuff. I know designer glasses are really silly, especially because they're all made from the same manufacturer, which is Luxottica. There's actually a pamphlet from Luxottica, like because they make it for Prada. I have so, so, so many glasses like these that are more affordable and I wear them all the time in the summer. So I just thought I wanted to splurge a little and get a designer pair. I, I just, I don't know. You guys know. I love designer stuff. I think it's really fun to have them, look at them. They make me really happy. And I don't know, I just want to take like so many aesthetic photos with them. And yeah, I think it's totally worth the money as long as I'm wearing it and loving it. And also, and also I think if the time comes and I want to sell it, I can definitely sell it for a, get some money out of how much I spent. Earlier last month, I worked with Farfetch on Instagram and I kept browsing their site and I kept looking at the Prada sunglasses. So that's why I got them. So they were definitely on my mind. I definitely pulled the trigger when I bought them. So I have, I have so many. Okay, so before tax, it is $4.55. That's actually a lot of money. For sunglasses they also make another style that is like exactly the same for 380 but she said they don't they didn't have it at their boutique and they never had it i'll put how much it is retail on the screen and that's my little bag from prada and then i want to move on to dior so i got a few questions about this like packaging i got uh this is actually my first item from Dior so I actually made an account when I made this purchase. Apparently this is the holiday packaging. The essay told me that they just had some extra so he gave me this one. That's what oh, that's what he said about it. I think it's super cute especially since I get like a little Dior star. I didn't even know it said Dior on it because it was facing this way the whole time. So that's really really cute. And I have to say their packaging is amazing. Like they have this like accordion tissue paper. Got my receipt. And the box is so cute. And the ribbon is so fat and I love it. Love how fat the ribbon is. So let's open her up. The box is so pretty too. I think it comes in a dust bag. Oh, that's okay. And look, there's like a little like tissue paper bag for it. So, so, so cute. And here it is. So, it is a small leather good, as they say. And it is the card holder in their oblique canvas. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. So I have a little cloth here and it has all of the like little inserts. Again for this item, I was looking at the display model. So I did ask him if they had any extra ones. So he pulled this out from like the bottom drawer. And of course I inspected it. So I'm really happy with how it looks like and everything. I've actually been waiting to do this unboxing because this is like the last thing I'm going to film about all of these items. So, so I can move this stuff from my wallet in. Actually I'm going to go my wallet in here it's my current wallet i get a ton of questions about the button i replace the layer of nail polish on the pink leather button about every six months so this is what the button looks like i get so many questions about it and it's in really good condition i'm really happy with it but i don't know i just wanted to change and, I, and because the layout is so similar i think i really won't have much of an issue switching over the only thing is this doesn't carry any coins i gotta figure out my coin situation but yeah i'm so excited Although the Dior card holder doesn't have a coin holder, it does, however, have a card slot in the back while the Rosalie holder from Louis Vuitton does not. So bonus and a minus, I guess. But I love how it looks and I've been obsessed with Dior lately. And I don't, I just love it. And it's just so cute. But I do think I've taken pretty good care of this one as 
but I do think I've taken pretty good care of this one so really happy to have this in my collection I'm so happy with it it just makes me so happy like look at it it's so so cute and and this is the card holder so it's it's like one of the cheaper items in their collection besides like the really flat thing and what I also like is that there's like a gusset on the side so it can really expand like a lot and it can get really really fat so I like that I could shove like all of the little items that I have in there so yeah really happy to move my stuff over I feel like such a grown-up with this one like this one's just so mature and then I feel like this one's like younger like a younger girl I don't know I might just made that up <laughs> but yeah but yeah that's what I got from Dior let's move on to the last item okay lastly is the biggest item I think you can tell by the by this bag what it is or okay here we go here it is so if you guys if you guys shop at Prada or if you guys know this is a bag box so I got a bag from Prada let's see her I'm so excited I'm actually getting excited again for these items I kind of packed them away for like the whole week because I had a, I've been really busy at work well, if you guys didn't know I do have a day job I'm an underwriter <laughs> basically like in the finance field so here we are here she is ah, you're so cute I love it oh my god I love it so much I I could finally open it. Oh, I have this. Here she is. So it says on the tag what the item is. So this is the Prada Re-Edition 2005. So the difference is, I just learned. <laughs> the difference is the 2005 is the leather strap. And then the 2000, just the fabric strap. And I went for the 2005 because it's a lighter color. So I was thinking if I like touch this a lot and my hands are dirty, if it's just the fabric one, it will show the dirtiness over time because it's such a light color. Whenever I make like my outfits that are like a lighter color or are like beige toned, I always dream about having this bag to pair it with. So I have it now and I've always, I've always like put together outfits and I'm always like, man, if I had a beige Prada nylon, that shoulder bag it would be perfect for this outfit so I have her now I'm so 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 happy with it and it is just it's just everything that I wanted in the bag so it comes with all these like little things it has the authenticity card which is super cool it says the store that it was bought from so if you guys are ever buying it try to get the full package like the receipt and then the authenticity card with the location of the store if you're ever buying it like secondhand i also think like all these items like if i no longer wanted them i could definitely sell them i think they would somewhat hold their value so ah I'm so happy it's so cute and yeah i can't wait to wear all of my new items i did buy all of them myself it was just like a huge birthday splurge for myself i guess so yeah super happy with all of it so the hawaii price for this bag the 2005 re-edition this is also in the color desert it was $990 and I think retail it is $1,100 so their handbags are 10% off I think this was really good for me and then after everything it was $1,036 so amazing pricing I love this so much and I'm very very happy with it oh and I forgot to add that the discount on their eyewear was only 5% so that's also probably why this one cost a good amount so so the eyewear is 5% while the bags are like 10% off. So that was everything. That was all of my Hawaii designer purchases. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it and love the Hawaii discount. I think every time I go, I would just like go crazy. If you're new here and would like to see more from me, please consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.